very, very good friend of mine. I've performed with him a number of times. Uh, currently runs a show called The War on Comedy. Because there's nothing like the war on terror and the war on drugs. Comedy should be taken the fuck out also. <laughs> Guys, put your hands together. Dave, Celeste! What's up? What's up? Have you guys been asked what's up by every comedian so far? What's up? What's up? Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? What's up? Guess we know what's up, right? What's up? <laughs> All right, let's get comfortable here. Let's just relax. Let's get a nice little cozy spot here and uh, talk about some stuff. What do you guys want? You want the deep stuff? What do you want? Funny, light, and funny? What do you What do you feel like? What do you feel like? Deep, heavy, funny. You want the deep and heavy stuff? Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. I mean, do you want it? You guys want that? You want the real shit, or do you want the you know, knock knock stuff? Real shit. I uh, I've been here a year and a half. I came from Florida, Sunshine State. Happy people. Right? Yeah. Happy people get laid, yeah. suntan, drinking, partying. Did you guys see that on Yahoo? They ranked, they ranked the states from happiest to un most unhappy. Yeah. Florida's three, right? Wow. New York. Where's New York? Wow. Yeah, 50. Yeah. <laughs> After that is hell. <laughs> they, they tried to put hell before New York, but it's not a state, so... Uh, I think I'd rather be in hell, but it's warm there at least, right? This is fucking nuts. You gotta, I don't know how you guys... You like being miserable? You just like this? You know? Whenever I say I'm like fucking free, I'm like, it's cold, man, it's fucking freezing. You guys are like, oh, this is nothing. It's way colder than this. I was my nuts off last year. They're gone. I don't fucking, you know, you guys got it backwards, you know? You go to Florida, it's, you don't, it amazes me. I see New Yorkers come to Florida, like, it's so nice here. It's warm, people are happy. All right, well, we're going to go home now. And then they go back and they're miserable for 50 weeks. I'm like, you got you got it backwards. You live in Florida, you come up here and you laugh at these fuckers, then you go back again to Florida. It's nice down there. It's empty now. Everybody fucking left. It's empty. There's too many people in New York City. Fucking you guys leave. Get out of here. I know. I mean, it, yeah. <laughs> It was probably cool here like a hundred years ago, right? This is an island, right? It's an island. Come to the island. Come on. Oh, ten, <laughs> well, it was cool then. There was like 20,000 people. It was cool. You could hang out. People had like a house with a yard. You know? Yard, yeah. Grass, you mow it. Dog in the front. Say hi to the neighbor. Hey, Pete, how you doing? I don't think, you know? And then you move 20 million idiots in here, and this is what we have. I, my, I don't even have a yard. It's, it's fucking unbelievable. I want to mow something. It's fucking nuts. It's something I noticed in Florida, though. Like, with my neighbors, I noticed that, like, the less sex you're having as a couple, because I, I can tell people that are married a long time, the less sex you're having as a couple, like, the nicer your yard starts to look. It does. My neighbors are always working their fucking yard. They've been married, like, 30 years. I know he's got to get back in late at all. I'm like, dude, you're not, your yard looks nice. Like, thanks, thanks a lot. It's like, after scissors cutting the grass. Thanks, <laughs> It's, you know you're fucked when you look out in the front yard and it's like a putting green out there and there's like pavers and shit, Tiger Woods is out there. Morning, dude! You know? I want like tumbleweed, like a homeless dude, dead cactuses. I can't, I'm not gonna get married, it's not gonna happen. I'm 42, it's, it's not, it's not gonna happen. I don't know, I don't want it to happen. <laughs> Happen. I do have a girlfriend though. I have a girlfriend. She's not here tonight because I met her on Plenty of Fish and she doesn't live anywhere near here. That's the fucked up thing about internet dating. You meet some really cute shit, you're like, oh, I really like her. Boise, Idaho? You know? She's like, she's like 90 minutes away. She might as well be in like Alaska. Because when, when she's not here, it's just I get tempted. There's so many fucking hot chicks here. You know, in Florida, you sit on the beach, just like a chick walks by, like, dude, look at that chick, look at her. Here, it's just like, they can, they're everywhere. It's like, I have like a hot chick radar, too. Like, you guys understand the dudes in the back, you get pussy, I can tell. It's like a hot chick radar. You just see them everywhere. They just annoy you. There's a Delta flight right now, row 17. There's two fucking chicks. It's not. Two chicks going by right now, some Spanish chick out front walking by. It's, it's, I just want to get shit done. That's why I came here to, to New York. I just want to get shit done. You guys get shit done. It's a busy city. You know? Florida, they go there to die. That's it. <laughs> I, just want, I just want to get shit done. I just want to be a good guy and get shit done. Right. And these fucking chicks just wear me down, man. You know? Especially in the summertime. You know? Always looking at shit. They just... They tease us. You guys fucking tease us, you know? We picked on you in second grade. Now you're getting back at us. I know what it is. I know. I understand. Even in the winter, you guys got us. With the boots. The fucking boots. <laughs> you can put boots on a goat and I fuck it. <laughs> 
My dad was wearing boots, I'll tell you. My dad was wearing boots in Florida a year ago, and he was fucking bent over, looking all sexy. He was like, Dad, give me the big ass. I'm like, Dad, take the boots off. That's why I'm here now. We got a little issue. We can't talk for two years. Oh. We're working through it. We're working through it. Let's just say I gave him the axe. I didn't even know what that meant. It just sounded funny in my head. I'm like, say it. Just say the axe. Say it now. He'll laugh. Say it. Half the shit I just make up on the fly. I just fucking think out loud. It just comes out, you know? I pre-planned jokes and I worked on it and I fucking threw the punchline. You guys like, nah, no good. Bad, do it again. Better not hack, you know? So just fucking talk up here. That's all. Just talk, you know? <laughs> I uh, I move around like doing fidgety. I'm really fidgety. Yeah. I'm taking a fucking I'm taking an ADD medicine. It's making yeah. me just. It's also known. It's it's called Vivance. They give it a nice, cute name, and it's a, actually it's an amphetamine. You know, it's fucking amphetamine. It's amazing. We're, we're all on fucking drugs. They've just made them legal now, you know? Pot is legal, amphetamines are legal. They just legalized everything. You know, in the 70s, they were doing like, oh, they do drugs and shit back then. That's crazy. We're all doing them now. They just give them pretty names. Vivance. <laughs> Lipricol. That's not even a drug. Lipricol. It sounds like one, but it's going to be one. It'll fucking be a drug. It'll be for herpes or something. <sighs> Fuck. I'm just stressed out because my girlfriend's too hot for me. She's just fucking, she's, you know, she's just settling. I know, she's like, he's nice, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try him for a little while. That's what chicks can do. They can just fucking, you know, it's, she can get laid quicker than I can buy a loaf of bread. Why the fuck is she with me? And it's unbelievable. I mean, I, there's, it's, there's like, I don't understand how the whole balance works, like guys and girls, because women can just... It's nuts. It's like a sea of dicks out there if you're a chick. Like, New York City is like a sea of dicks. You just fucking fishing. You just pull up dicks like crazy. It's no big deal. You know? Jenna's just pulling up dicks all day. You know? And she pulls up a dick and they say the same shit. Hey, nice hair. You look pretty. Smile. I like your boots. Let's fucking throw back at the clownfish. You know? It's like fucking just... It's like a fat chick that was different. Not a fat chick, but just say, let's just say a fat, nasty chick, right? She's out her boat there to see if dicks. She's out there and she's like, Marge, you get anything? No, okay, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we could use a dick today, though. <laughs> shadow, the shadow just reminds me of the trip to the doctor once. Ah, Jesus, it burns! The tripping? <laughs> The guys that just groaned are the guys that got gone or before. <laughs> what if our dicks were this big? Just imagine, let's just, let's just imagine our dicks were this big. You're born and your dick is this big. Yeah, you know? just imagine that. Imagine our dick was just this fucking big. Imagine we're all born with big dicks. Like, do anything with it. Wait, like, lean on it, waiting for the bus. Go on, Pete, what's up? <laughs> oh, my dick just broke. <laughs> you do anything. You know? Pam, come down. Oh, it's like the tree out there. Is it declawed? Oh. <laughs> 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 they just grab and start sucking. <laughs> um, that's it, guys. My name is David Celeste. Thanks a lot. <laughs> is taller than me because I've had to lower this fucking thing every time I've come back here I feel like an Oompa Loompa next comedian coming to stage very confusing okay this guy's name is Jared also and it's very confusing because we're both white and all white people look alike okay there's subtle differences so pay attention first of all this guy